Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be practicing transposition of matrices. If you want to follow along, the links to the companion worksheet are in the description below, so let's get started. Now, the idea of matrix transpose is we have a matrix, and anytime you see this little letter T up there, what happens is we're going to make one quick alteration. Now first, we need to state what the order is. So here this is a 3 by 3 matrix. So when we transpose this, the rows and the columns are going to switch places. So that means that these two numbers are going to switch. So thankfully they're the same. So we're going to end up with a 3 by 3. Now the first thing to state is we want to draw a line diagonally like this. From the first one down to the second row, second column, third row, third column. And if our matrix were bigger, we would keep going. These numbers don't change position. They stay put. So we have negative 6, we have 5, and we have 3. But everything else is going to swap places on either side of the line. So that means the 4 and the 0 are going to trade places. So we have a 4 here and a 0 here. We have a negative 1 and a 1. They're going to trade places. So a 1 and a negative 1 and a 2 and a 7. So they are going to trade places. And there we go. So there is our transpose of this matrix. We draw a line. These numbers don't change. Everything else changes around them. Okay. So with the second one, here we have a 3 by 2 matrix. So we're going to end up with a 2 by 3 matrix. So draw a line like this. Now, there is no third number here, but that's okay. So negative 6 stays in the same spot, first row, first column. 7 stays in the same spot, second row, second column. But everything else switches. So negative 1 and positive 1 trade places. Now 0 is trading places with, well, there's nothing over here. But where is it going? It's going over here, next to the 1. And the 3, that's going to go up over here. So, when we transpose this matrix, here's what it looks like. All right. Now, the main reason for transposing is it makes matrix multiplication possible. So here what we've got is we have two different 3 by 2 matrices. However, if we try to multiply them, it's not going to work. The two inside numbers don't match. But... First, we need to transpose this matrix. So this matrix, which was a 3 by 2, is going to become a 2 by 3 matrix. So the 3 and the 0, they stay put. And then we have 5 and negative 2, they switch. The 1 goes up over here, and the 3 goes up over, negative 3 goes up over there. And then our second matrix, nothing gets changed with that. Negative 2, 1, and 4, negative 4, 4, 3, and negative 1. So this has become now a 2 by 3 matrix, and this is a 3 by 2 matrix. So fortunately, now our two inside numbers match, so now we can multiply these. So we're going to end up with a 2 by 2 matrix for our answer. So I'm going to multiply across this row and down this column. So 3 times negative 2 plus negative 2 times 1 plus 1 times negative 4. For my first row, second column, I take 3 times 4, negative 2 times 3, and 1 times negative 1. For my second row, first column, we have 5 times negative 2, 0 times 1, and then negative 3 times negative 4. And then for my second row, second column, we have 5 times 4, 0 times 3, and negative 3 
times negative 1. So when we crunch those numbers, we have negative 6 and negative 2 is negative 8, minus 4 is negative 12. Here we have 12 and negative 6 is positive 6, minus 1 is 5. Here we have negative 10, 0, and 12. So negative 10 and positive 12 is positive 2. And then 20 and 0 is still 20, plus positive 3 is 23. Now for number 4, now we're transposing the second matrix. And these two matrices are identical to number 3. We're just transposing the second one now. So let's write this. The first one stays unchanged. 3, negative 2, 1, 5, 0, negative 3. The second one we're going to transpose. So I draw my line. So negative 2 and 3 stay put. So we have 4 over there. 1 and negative 4, we have negative 1. So now what we have is we have a 3 by 2 and a 2 by 3. So those two inside numbers match. So, so now we're going to have a 3 by 3 matrix as our answer. So I multiply across the first row, down the first, the second, and the third column. So 3 times negative 2 plus 5 times 4. 3 times 1 plus 5 times 3. 3 times negative 4 plus 5 times negative 1. Now I'm going to multiply the second row by the second column. And since this number is 0, I really don't need to write that second part. So I can just have negative 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 times 1. Negative 2 times negative 4. And then finally, I'm going to multiply the third row by each of the columns. 1 times negative 2 plus negative 3 times 4. 1 times 1 plus negative 3 times 3. And then 1 times negative 4 plus negative 3 times negative 1. All right, so now let's crunch these numbers. Negative 6 and 20 is positive 14. 3 and 15 is 18. And then we have negative 12 and negative 5. So that should be negative 17. Second row, positive 4, negative 2, positive 8. And then in the bottom row, we have negative 2 and negative 12 is negative 14. 1 and negative 9 is negative 8. Then we have negative 4 and positive 3 is negative 1. So mostly we use transpose of matrices in order to make multiplication possible. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, click the subscribe button. If you have suggestions or problems you want to see worked out, type a comment below. To support the channel, click the Patreon link to help keep this going. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, the best way to understand something is to do it.